Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today I'm going to share with you an easy way to install Chrome OS on any computer. It can be a old mini PC like this one right over here with two gigabytes or four gigabytes of RAM old CPU or if you happen to have a older laptop which with Windows it's slow and you are not even using it now we are starting a new school year so instead of spending money probably Chrome OS will give it a second or third life and you will be able to use it for you for work or even for your kids not only for work but to have some fun as well if you want to install on your desktop you can do as well. That being said, let's go straight for it. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code, which will give you the best price possible at this moment. So just in case, the link will be down below. Here we are on my desktop so that we can create the USB pen drive installation for Chrome OS. Now I do have Chrome right over here with Google. And although it says google.com, as I live in Portugal, some of the things are in Portuguese, but I will guide you through everything. And this is just the only screen that we will see in Portuguese, basically. Now I've got a computer here with one SSD which is the main with Windows. Uh, I've got another SSD right over here, which doesn't matter. I'm not going to install on this computer, but just so that you know what I'm doing. And I've got a USB with 32 gigs right over here, which we are going to install Chrome OS to install on another computer that I've got, which is a lot older. Go here and select the web store. And on the web store, we just need to uh, search for Chromebook recovery utility because I already searched for it and we will see it right over here. Once again, sorry about that, it's showing in Portuguese, but you will have it in English Chromebook recovery utility. So we just need to select it. And once we do select right over here, it's in English. <laughs> we just need to install. Once it's installed, let's add the extension. And after the extension is added, we can close this. I can actually go here and pin that extension and then once I want to use it I just need to press it and it will start. Now I can minimize the uh, Google Chrome and I can just use the recovery tool. What we need to do is just uh, select get started and then here as we are not going to use a Chromebook we are going to use any computer that we want. Actually I'm using a Minix computer which is quite old. I'm going to select the model and here I will search for Google uh, Chrome OS Flex and here Chrome OS Flex and basically this is it. I just need to press continue. Now I will need to select my USB pen drive which is this one here. So there we go 32 gigs but you can go by with 8 gigabytes which is enough. Let's press continue and create now. Now this says that it will take about uh, a few minutes. I would say between 5 and 10 minutes. So let's speed this up and I'll be back in just a few moments. Okay, and the process is finished. And at this moment, we've got our USB drive, which is called EFI system, ready to be removed and placed in on the computer that we want. Now, in case you want to install on the computer that we are using, you can leave the USB drive here and you just need to go and restart your machine. But in this particular case, I'm going to remove my USB pen drive. So it did disappear and I'm going to press done. And this is it on this computer. I'm going to move to another computer to install Chrome OS. So I just placed the USB thumb drive on this new computer. Actually, it's an old computer, as you can see, four gigabytes of RAM. And I did turn it on and boot into the BIOS. Now, on my particular case, it's the delete key. But in your case, it might be F12, F2, depending on the brand of the motherboard that we are using. Now, once we are on our BIOS, which is what we are seeing right now on screen, we want to go to the boot override and yours will be similar to mine. And we will need to select UFI USB or USB depending on your 
BIOS. Now you can see right over here Chrome OS Flex on my hard drive because I already installed for my Portuguese video and I've been playing around with a few things so that's the only reason that it's here. In your case it might be Windows or Linux depending on what you are using on your computer. Now I want to boot from the USB pen drive so I'm going to select either this one or this one and in your case if it appears with a different name don't worry it's just because there are different brands of USB pen drives and if you select one and it doesn't work just select the other one and it will work fine. In my particular case I know that it's this one right over here so I'm going to select it and in a few seconds we will be here on the Chrome OS uh, starts menu. Now we can change the language right over here. I'm going to leave it as English and let's get started. So we want to install Chrome OS but if you want to try it first without installing on your hard drive you can select this option here. Just have in mind that if your USB drive is slow you will get a bad experience which is not the same experience that you will have if you install directly on the SSD so just have that in mind. Let's press next and right over here it will say that it will delete everything that we have on our hard drive or SSD so in my particular case totally fine let's press install and that is it. Now it will not take 20 minutes on my experience but this will depend on the computer that we are using and the installation is complete. It didn't take the 20 minutes, I would say about five minutes or so. Now it will shut down in 40 seconds or so and we just need to remove the USB pen drive and then turn on our device because it will boot from the internal SSD so that we can complete the installation. And if we want to shut it down quicker, we just need to go here to this menu and select shut down and there we go. So I did remove the USB pen drive and started my computer and here we are on what it seems to be the initial screen but it's uh, although it's the same or very similar it is on a different step. So here we need to select if we want to personal use for a child or for work for a child the difference is that we will have a lot of parental controls. In this particular case let's go for personal use press next and it will check for updates which I believe that it's going to do the update for the latest version which is 128. Now there will be a button here that you can ignore the update but uh, for the sake of being with the latest version I'm going to leave it as it is. Here it is. Skip and remind me later. But okay let's do something. Let's skip and remind me later and I'm going to show you where we can find the updates on Chrome OS. So let's press next and right over here we just need to put in our uh, credentials for our email, in this case Gmail. There we go, once we put in our email and password we can uh, select here, this is optional but let's leave it on, accept and continue. We can also select here review sync options but let's leave as it is. Let Google use our hardware data. Okay, let's go accept and continue and we have the option to use the Google account password but I'm going to create a new password, easier one than my Google account. So press next so that we have the password is now set. So to log in on this computer instead of using our Google account password we will use the one that we just created. Now right over here we will change the display and size. I will need to change that in a few moments as you will be able to see because of the resolution. We can select the theme that we want, light or dark or auto. I'm going to leave dark which is the one that I prefer. I'm going to press next and get started. So basically this is it in terms of the configuration. Now you saw that we put the scale on the maximum but I'm using a 4K display right over here. Let's go to the settings and on the settings. So this all is all in Portuguese. I'm not really sure why because I did select English but let's go right over here and I'm going to uh, select English and put it to the top and right over here I'm going to select English United States and I'm going to confirm. So it was very quick to restart and there we go we are back on the screen and right now if we go to settings 
hopefully we have everything in English which is much easier for you to understand there we go so if you by any reason get it in a different language just go to system preferences and then on languages we can select that now besides this change I want to go to device I want to go to display and here I'm using 4k but let's put about 160 okay I believe that you can see a lot better now let me just check my recording screen yeah a lot better so in terms of options here we are if this is the first time that you are on chrome i would suggest to check the first window that we have seen if you close it like i did you can always go right over here which is the app draw and you can go to explore and this is the window that we see the first time that we put into chrome os and you can just browse around right over here in terms of apps games and so on and so forth talking about apps as we can see we don't have play store which is normal not to having play store right over here but there is one way to install the play store so if you want a version which is not the official version but with the play store leave a comment down below and a lot of thumbs up so that i can create that video which i've been using for myself in one of the systems but i never created a video about that but moving on uh, let's close this because you will have time to read it in terms of the apps you will have right over here and also on the app draw the settings are located here so if we select and then we have uh, quick options here at this moment i'm connected to the ethernet port but i can select wi-fi connectivity as i've got right over here let's go back and let's go to the settings i want to show you the uh, chrome os version also the where we can update it so if we go to about chrome os this is nearly up to date version 128 so you will have two uh, options here one check for updates or this one which is the one that already did the update we just need to restart it but basically this is where you are going to see if it's um, the latest version or not and as we can see this is the official version because we did build it with chrome as we saw on our windows computer now also really interesting on the terms of diagnostics we can see right over here the computer that i'm using a celeron with n3150 which is quite old and four gigabytes of ram you can run all sorts of tests in terms of cpu and memory which is quite cool as well let's close this one right over here you will also find system preferences so we can change everything right over here accessibility apps we can manage the apps that we have installed as i said we don't have play store but you do have right over here the chrome web store which is here so we can uh, install add-ons for chrome and so on and so forth which is not bad at all and then privacy wallpapers and styles for the customization device uh, never mind in sending emails to this email account because I, don't, I just use it for these kind of tests so no worries whatsoever network bluetooth so all the settings will be right over here now in case you want to use any of the apps and if it's for you for work or for your kids for example if we want to use sheets we can just open sheets and it will be using our google account that we logged in so just have that in mind if you are using that account in another computer you will have access to google drive and whatnot so if i want to do a monthly budget or use a template with budget sorry i can do so and if i want to open a doc sheet and let's just drag it right over here if this was windows i i believe that i was i wasn't be able to uh, do these multitasking with word and excel because this computer is quite old with only four gigabytes of ram and windows 11 being so heavy uh, for some machines especially the older ones then it's not easy so here we are with excel we also well not excel sheets and uh, also with docs so we can work and play around with everything that we want we can close these we can go and open youtube for example let's close this one right over here let's search youtube for this guy over here which probably we will find something about it so roberto george here it is with this portuguese channel and roberto george on this channel that you are watching right now english channel almost achieving the 100 
uh, thousand subscribers which is a great great milestone but basically this is it in terms of this guide i hope that it's useful and right now you just need to have fun using chrome os the official version on any computer that you have especially those older computers that we have meant and that is it easy as this just follow these steps and you will be able to have chrome os officially built on any computer that you want to give it a second life one of the things that really damages here is to see hardware just thrown away or sold at a really low price when we can use it for ourselves and give it a different purpose and even being more sustainable as well now if we can get our hands on operating systems like chrome os and give a second life to this machine which original was windows then in my opinion great if by any reason chrome os is not the thing that you are looking for i will leave some links down below with other suggestions that i've shared here in the past with operating systems which are very light so that we can take advantage of computers that are older either laptops or mini computers or even desktops if the video was helpful don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always I'll see you on the next one.